Hey there Itsy Bitsers! Today I'm bringing you a tutorial for making miniature table lamps in four different styles. Don't forget, you can use the chapter feature to skip ahead to your favourite design. First, let's talk about miniature LED lights. They can be purchased from most online stores including Amazon, eBay and Wish. You'll need the LED lights which come with wires attached and then you'll also need a battery pack that aligns with the voltage on the lights that you've chosen. Miniature kits also have lights, so you can always recycle from a kit that you're no longer using. Your lights should look a little bit like this with two wires hanging down. One wire is positive and the other one is negative. You should also have a battery pack that has a little switch on the end. Most battery packs will take either AA or AAA batteries. To make your LEDs work, you'll need to match the positive wire on your light with the positive wire on your battery pack. And then match the negative wire with the negative wire. You can hold them between your fingers to test it out like so. If they don't light up, then simply switch them around and try again. First up we're going to make this super cute concrete lamp. This type of lamp is popular in industrial design. For the mini version I've used these cement beads which I've obtained from my local craft store. They can also be purchased from Etsy by looking up concrete beads. I also purchased these clear glass mini globes from Amazon which I'm going to use for the globe effect. To join everything together I've used a 4mm metal eyelet. You'll also notice I use these throughout the video. You can buy them from eBay, Wish and Amazon. Starting with the cement bead, I've made the hole a little bigger. I've also carved out a small section on the base for my wire to sit inside. Place your LED wires through the eyelet and feed it up to the top. Using a fine tipped glue bottle, place a small amount of glue around your light so the eyelet will stay in place. Then place some glue on the base of the eyelet and stick your globe on top. Place some glue underneath the eyelet and then feed your concrete bead all the way up to the top and stick it in place. Place some glue in the carved out area you made earlier and stick your wires in that crevice. Then we're going to use some electrical tape to hide the colour of the wires. This is what it should look like. Now let's get the lights working. Remember we've got our positive and negative wires and we need to make sure that they're matched up and then you're going to twist them until they're completely combined and apply some electrical tape to insulate the wires. Now that we've insulated both of our wires, we can turn on the battery pack and see our light in action. And isn't that adorable for a modern industrial feel? Next up, we have a pink hexagonal lamp with a striped lampshade. I'm using a Cricut for this project, but you could also make this by hand. I took inspiration from this full-sized lamp. Heading over to Cricut Design Space, I click on Shapes and then Create a Circle. Then I size it down to my miniature dimensions. This is going to form the top part of my lamp, which I'll cut from paper. So I've coloured that circle white and then to do the fabric part, I duplicate that circle and colour it pink so that Cricut places it on a separate mat. Now for making the lampshade part. Go over to shapes and click square. This one is going to be cut from paper. So I've turned it white and then unlock the aspect ratio here. Then we're going to enter the miniature dimensions. For the width I've used 1.5 centimeters. And then to ensure that it wraps all the way around our circle, I've used a circumference tool by entering the radius, which is half of the width of the circle. Then I've duplicated that shape 
so that I can create one with the fabric and I've colored it pink so that it places it on the same mat as my pink circle. Now the length of my paper piece I've made a little bit longer because I want to be able to glue the two ends together. Here's my paper piece. Here is the pink stripe fabric that I've chosen and I'm placing it on the pink fabric grip mat and I'm using the fabric rotary blade. Now I've got this pink hexagonal bead which I've purchased online. Again, you can get them from Etsy or from eBay or even from Amazon. I've sanded down the bottom a little bit so that it will be freestanding. So here are our fabric pieces and the paper piece. And I've used a pen just to get a little bit of curl in there so it'll make it easier to fold over. I've used some glue tape to stick the fabric onto my paper piece. Then I've placed some glue on that extra end piece that I made earlier and I'm gluing those two ends together. I've also used a clamp to hold it in place while it dries. Now for the top part. Carefully place some glue around the edge using a fine tipped glue bottle. Then place the paper piece on top and our fabric circle sits on top of that. And here's our finished lampshade. We're then going to need some gold wire. And I'm going to wrap it around the plastic section of our LED light. Then you're going to make a bigger loop to stick around our lampshade. And that loop should then track back down into the bead like so. Using a gold eyelet, we're going to thread our LED light through the middle and then put the piece of wire through that once you get up to the top here. Then we're going to thread the LED wires through our pink bead all the way up to the top and again the wire should go through the hole of your bead like so. Apply small amounts of glue to each section to hold it in place and then place some glue around the edge of your wire so that your lampshade can fit on top. Be sure to test your light before you put it all together. Yep, that light is definitely working. And look at the finished product guys, I was really pleased with how it turned out. Next up we have this mini desk lamp. Now I've taken inspiration from a lot of different lamps here to kind of create my own mini version. And I have used my Cricut to cut the wood pieces out. Again, you could probably do this by hand. So in Cricut Design Space, we're going over to the Shapes tab and we're going to create a diamond. So to make the diamond a little thicker, I've unlocked the aspect ratio and dragged it up a little bit. I'm also going to color it orange so that I know I'm cutting it from wood. Duplicate your diamond and then drag it over so that you've got an overlap like so. Then we're going to highlight both objects and click slice. And what that's going to do is it's going to cut the diamond out of the other diamond, leaving you with a kind of little duck shape. Now I want a flat edge at the bottom, so I'm just gonna create a square and drag it over so that I've got a flat part there. Highlight both of those objects and again click slice. And what this will do is we will cut that triangle bit out of the bottom so we get a flat shape at the end. And to make it more realistic I want to create some little extension pieces. So I'm going to create a square and make it a lot smaller but it needs to be the width of our frame. I'm going to use the top right hand corner to rotate it so that it sits flush with our frame. And I'm going to add two of these squares at the top area here and then one in the middle join section to really give it an authentic look. I also need to make an extra long piece for where our light shade part is going to sit and I'm going to change the length so that I can place it on the end here. 
Once I'm happy with the shape, I need to create it as one object, but you can only do that with two pieces at a time. So just grab one of the squares and then the frame piece, click weld and keep doing that until you've made one entire object. It should look a little bit like this. This part is really important for the frame. So create a square and we're going to color it the same color as our frame. And in terms of the size of the hole that this frame is gonna sit in, I'm applying two pieces of wood frame together. Now the wood is two millimeters thick. So two plus two is four millimeters. So I need to make sure that the width of my frame is exactly four millimeters. So that when I stick the frame inside the base, it will fit perfectly. And I'll show you what I mean a little bit later. So if you're using one millimeter thick wood, then you would put two millimeters for this hole. Now you guys know by now I always create a few extras because the Cricut can be a little bit finicky and pieces can break, you never know what's gonna happen. So just create some extras for yourself, just for spares. Here is my wood piece, two millimeters thick, and I'm using balsa wood. So I'm gonna stick it down to my strong grip purple mat. And then I've used this Joe Sonia's wood stain, and I've gone with kind of an oak colored wood to paint all of my pieces. So I've glued the two base pieces together and then I've glued the two frame pieces together. Next up I've applied a small amount of glue to the end here and I'm just sticking my LED light down. Now I took this white bead from a miniature kit that was left over but you can also find them online, they're called cone beads. Place your frame inside the smaller end of the bead with the light in between. Now I want to bend it a little bit so that it tracks all the way down to the base and then we're going to stick the wire down the back so it's not really visible. Then we're going to apply some glue to the middle of our base here and then glue our frame inside that base. Now because I know I'm working with four millimeters of wood it fits perfectly inside. Finishing up all that wiring. And isn't that cute? It's kind of like a Scandinavian look. I think it would look really nice in a modern miniature house. And this is our final design. We've got a black mesh table lamp. I've taken inspiration from a lot of these different lamps but kind of made my own version and I'm using Cricut Design Space to create the base piece. So head on over to Shapes and we're going to create a circle. Then I size it down to my miniature dimensions. So we're going to cut a smaller circle out of this circle and that's to place our wire inside so that it will be freestanding. Now I know that my wire is two millimeters thick so I've created a circle and I'm going to place it kind of in the middle, but to the right off center. Once I'm happy with the placement, I'm gonna highlight both and I'm going to hit slice. And that will cut the smaller circle out of the bigger circle. Now I'm going to cut one of the base pieces from chipboard that's a lot thicker. And then the other piece I'm going to cut with cardboard because I'm unlikely to get this tiny circle piece using the knife blade. Again, I've made a few extras just in case. So here is the chipboard piece and that will just be the circle without the tiny circle in the middle. And for the piece with the tiny circle, I've just used this cardboard and I was able to cut out those really fine pieces. Here is the wire that I'll be using. As you can see, because I measured it earlier, the wire fits perfectly into that hole. Now for the bead, I've used this black mesh bead 
which I got from Wish. And I'm using a brass coloured eyelet. Feed both the bead and the eyelet through the wires on your LED light, like so. Apply a small amount of glue in between those two pieces and glue them together. Next up, I'm going to cut the wire down to size using these wire cutters and then stick the wire piece inside that eyelet. Then I've applied some electrical tape to the wire and the LED light, bending it to my desired shape. Then I glued my base pieces together. So we have two pieces with the hole and then we have the one chipboard piece which doesn't have a hole. I've painted those pieces black just to match the wires that I've used in this design. Then apply a small amount of glue to the hole for that wire to sit in on the base of my lamp. Connect all the wires on your lights with the battery pack. And our black mesh table lamp is complete. That brings us to the end of our tutorial guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found some inspiration. Thanks for your support.